Well, do you have an energy sucker in your life? You know, someone who brings you down rather than a person who builds you up and gives you more energy? Barb Bartline is the people pro. She's also an author, psychotherapist, and nurse. She joins us now to talk about her new book. It's called Energy Suckers, How to Deal with Bullies in the Workplace. Mm -hmm. Great title of your new book. <laughs> so the question, of course, is who inspired this book? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I've had a lot of inspiration through the years. Actually, the very first bully I ever met was in grade school mm -hmm. and it wasn't another student it was my teacher yep I, and yep, I'll never we'll forget that. I'll never forget her because when she got mad she'd grab your arm and dig her nails in and no I way. yeah yeah she was she was very much a bully I found myself spending a lot of time eating that white paste oh. you know <laughs> that's what I did in third grade yeah. so so that was my first exposure but you know you run into them everywhere mm -hmm. yeah you do you run into them at work you run into them in uh, the supermarket you run into them on the road mm -hmm. I mean how many times have you had somebody turn in front of you cut you off and then they give you the finger right okay? right it was right. your fault <laughs> right yeah yeah that they're they're running late and they're driving poorly whatever it yep. is you know but why are they so destructive to us let's kind of break it down why these energy suckers or bullies can be destructive well I like the term energy energy suckers because that's exactly what they do mm -hmm. they suck your energy out of deplete you deplete you yeah they do they deplete you I, I had a co-worker say you know, I know when I'm with an energy sucker because when I go to break with her, I come back tireder than when I left. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. That's an energy sucker. Energy suckers are those people you call hoping they're not home. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you keep calling them? You're I just feel like I've I've rid myself of a lot of toxic people. Yeah. Why do you Why do we keep these people around? Well, you know, sometimes because maybe they're a coworker or they're a boss or uh, they're in your extended family and you're kind of stuck with them. Um, but you know, you call them hoping they're not home just so you get credit for the call. You don't want to talk to them. <laughs> or if you they do catch you on the phone, you can feel your stomach churning because you don't want to deal with them. Well, and that's the thing mm. is I think we all know what it feels like to be, you have to trust your instincts on this. Everybody knows an energy sucker. Right. And so the, I think you're probably going to say you have to take steps to kind of get that person out of your life. First though, talk about the different types mm -hmm. of, because you define there's seven different types of energy suckers who become bullies to others. Right, right. And uh, I developed a, a, uh, an item in the new book called the Annoyometer. <laughs> and depending on the type of energy sucker, they rate different on the Annoyometer. So for Annoyal. example, <laughs> the Annoyometer. So for example, on the small side, you have a stress puppy. These are people that are just anxious all the time. And then I go all the way over to the psychopaths, mm -hmm. which believe it or not, there's a lot in corporate America. So I cover the different types. And and depending on the severity is how much they affect you. Do you engage? That's the thing I always wonder is a lot of people will advise you to just ignore. Sometimes you need to confront the bully because if you don't, their bullying behavior will increase. So sometimes you have to say, you know what? This is not appropriate. I'm not going to put up with this. You need to set a line. Now, sometimes you can't. And for example, if the bully's in the workplace, then you have to get HR or somebody else involved. Mm -hmm. How can you know if you're actually being bullied? Uh, I have a quiz on whether you're being bullied, and uh, your uh, viewers can view it right on the website. What would uh, be a typical question on there? Um, do you feel intimidated at, at work? Mm. Uh, do you get criticized at work? Does someone yell at you at work? Um, do you hate going to work? Now, that could be other reasons, <laughs> but very often it's because of a toxic personality at work. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the indicators that we look at. How do you, you know, you talked about confronting a bully. What are some steps, in your opinion, if it's somebody that you can remove from your life? Now, if it's your boss or something, you could probably get another job, but you're not going to probably have a lot of success in getting rid of that person. If there's an energy sucker in your life, how do you suggest getting that person out well, f for one thing, don't sit there and be the victim and put up with it and put up with it. And, you know, Dorothy Dormat, Melvin Melktoes, just putting, <laughs> <laughs> putting up with somebody bullying you around. So you need to set those limits. I also think it's really important to surround yourself with positive and uplifting people. Part of the criteria that I outline in the book, and I developed this in my own life, is I look for three things now in my relationships. I ask myself, are they kind? Are they compassionate and are they generous? 
Mm -hmm. If they don't meet that criteria, I don't know how close I want them to me. Mm -hmm. So I, I set some personal guidelines. Now, when I was younger, I didn't do that. I pretty much, oh, everybody, let's all be friends. You know, as you get older, you realize some people you can be really close friends with and some you can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a skill. It takes, it takes work to, to separate yourself from those kind of people yep. and to give yourself the, the respect and the power back from those people who are in your life. Yes. So that's important. Here's how you can find out more about Barb and her books. Go to thepeoplepro.com. Thanks, Barb.